We're back! It's 2023, and to start off the year, I thought I would make a little bit of a confession. In 2022, I completely failed in reaching 100,000 subscribers, and here's why. snowing like crazy, but it's way too cold to be outside here in a t-shirt, so let's go inside and let me explain more what I mean by failing. So, going into the beginning of this year, I had decided to become a full-time YouTube content creator. And I had all these grand plans and huge goals for this channel, and one of them was that I would finally break the 100,000 subscribers. And this obviously didn't happen. At the beginning of 2022, I had 77,000 subscribers and 91 videos later, which is on average about two videos a week, I had 87,800 subscribers. Now, by all means, is that not a small thing? It's insane to think that's 10,800 new people who are part of this community and who take the time to watch my videos, but still, I was really far away from breaking the 100,000 subscriber mark. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you guys is because this year in 2023, I wanna be more candid, more open about not only the highs, but also the lows of running a YouTube channel. Those moments where you feel like you're failing or you've made mistakes, because I think there's a huge opportunity for not only for me, but as well for you guys to learn from my mistakes. So that's why I thought that I would share with you guys in this video, why I think that I didn't reach 100,000 subscribers, what were some of the mistakes that I made along the way, and how I plan to learn from those mistakes and create a better growth strategy for 2023. So the first mistake that I made in 2022 was not creating YouTube Shorts. We all know since the introduction of TikTok and short form videos, all the other platforms like Instagram and YouTube have been trying to follow suit and compete with them to get eyes on their content, which means that they're really pushing short form content and there's a huge opportunity for growth if you're gonna create YouTube shorts. I know people who are in the exact same niche as I am and they've been able to get up to anywhere from 20,000 to 40,000 subscribers in a month. That means that in three months, they've already broken the 100,000 subscriber milestone. And that's something that I've personally been working towards almost five years now. Now, personally, I felt a lot of anxiety about creating YouTube shorts because I was already putting so much effort and time into creating these long form videos because I was making on average two to three videos a week. And to add another burden on top of that of creating YouTube shorts, I just felt like I didn't have it in me to create both YouTube shorts and that many videos, long form videos every single week. But I really missed out here because if I would have created YouTube shorts, it would have been a great avenue for people to be introduced to this channel. I don't wanna be necessarily known as the shorts guy, but through YouTube Shorts, it could introduce people to my long form content and get to know this channel better. Kind of like what movie trailers do for Hollywood blockbusters, YouTube Shorts could have done the same for my channel. Mistake number two was not creating enough searchable content. Going into 2022, I continued creating content in the same format that I was used to making with my brother on his channel in 2021. And that was a lot more vlogs and experience-based reviews, and those are great, but the problem with that kind of content is, is that it's not so searchable. They're great qualitative type content where your audience can really enjoy getting to know you, but it's more for your established base audience that you already have, and they don't really help you grow so much because most likely people aren't gonna be searching or finding your vlogs or your experience-based videos just randomly. Now this style of content worked great for my brother Maddie because he already had an established audience and he was able to create that audience originally by creating tutorials like some of his most famous tutorials like how to make GoPro cinematic which popped off and over the course of five years got a total of 1.7 million views. And I'm sure a whole bunch of subscribers came from just that one video that was searchable. So my mistake in 2022 was not creating enough searchable content like tutorials which people 
people are gonna be finding when they're searching for different answers for problems that they have, and they might actually watch that same video numerous times. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm trying to learn something new, like effect, or how to track something, I always forget how to do it, so I just go watch that same tutorial again, which means I've given that one creator multiple views on the same video. So my mistake was focusing too much on just creating qualitative content only for the people who are already here and a part of this community, and not creating searchable content that could have a long shelf life and be potentially watched numerous times, which would in turn grow this community. Mistake number three that I made in 2022 was that I did basically everything on my own. That means on a weekly basis, I'm brainstorming, writing scripts, filming, editing, publishing the content, and after all of that, I still gotta do all the everyday life of running a business, you know, taxes, answering emails, sending packages, grabbing packages, bringing out the garbage, all those monotonous everyday tasks that you gotta do when you're running a business. Let's just say that I had a lot on my plate and I was definitely burning on all four cylinders. At maybe the half point of 2022, I really recognized that this isn't sustainable and I'm glad that the end of 2022, I was able to finally find someone to help me with the editing and filming a few days a week, which was Robin and he's been a great asset to this channel. Throughout 2022, I was actually doing really well financially. In fact, it was actually the best business year I've ever had up till this point. I'm not sharing this to brag, but I should have taken those extra finances and you know, paid for other creatives to collaborate with me, hire people to create products, just bring people along this journey so that I could you know, create things together and not alone. Because really, what's the point of having thousands of dollars just sitting in your bank account when really you should be taking that money and seeing it as potential employees that could work for you to expand your business? So yeah. I definitely didn't do 2022 perfectly, and that's often the case in life. You don't realize the mistakes you're making until afterwards. But when you do become aware of your mistakes, you can decide how you're gonna react and how you're gonna learn from them. So in 2023, my growth strategy is gonna look like this. I'm gonna be focusing on three areas. The first area is YouTube Shorts. Like I said before, YouTube Shorts is gonna be that avenue for people to be introduced to my channel, and there's gonna be quick tutorials or encouragement videos or just fun, epic videos that I can post from content that I'm already creating so that people can be teased to go watch the long form content. The second type of content we're creating is tutorials because tutorials are very searchable, they have long shelf life, and people can potentially just keep watching them over and over again. And not only will it help my channel grow, but as well, it just helps you guys out. I know for myself, when I started out in learning about photography and filmmaking, it was so huge watching these tutorials. I remember watching Andrew Kramer's tutorials about After Effects and learning about keyframing and creating different kinds of you know effects. And it was huge. And I wanna be able to offer you guys that same kind of experience that when you're watching my tutorials, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm learning so much and I'm going forwards in my craft. And ultimately, that's the mission of my channel, elevating others. I wanna help you guys go forwards and take that next step in your creative journey. And last but not least, I'm gonna be still focusing on creating vlogs and experience-based reviews because I think it's a great way for me to connect with you and for you guys to connect with me and get to know the thoughts that I'm thinking about and just for me to encourage you guys. I love creating different vlogs where I just share the encouragements that are on my mind because I wanna help you guys, like I said before, not only you know, technically learning about photography filmmaking, but as well just in life. I wanna, you know, encourage you guys and put a smile on your face. And I think through vlogs, I'm able to accomplish that. And to keep myself accountable, I thought I would share as well what I'm thinking when it comes to just goals of how much I wanna post. And with the YouTube Shorts, I plan to post one YouTube Short a week. And that might sound like quite little, like just one YouTube Short, that's, that's not a lot. But if I look back in 2022, I posted a total of 11 YouTube Shorts. And if I was to post one a week, that's 52 YouTube Shorts, and that's five times growth. So I figure I'm gonna start small, you know, set the bar as low as possible, because if I do start posting one YouTube Short a week, it's gonna give me that feeling that I'm succeeding and I'm going forwards, and it's gonna be very motivating, and most likely it's gonna inspire me to create even more, and maybe I'll start posting two YouTube Shorts a week 
Whereas right away at the beginning of the year, I'm like, I'm going to post every single day a YouTube short. Most likely I'm not going to succeed and it's actually going to be very defeating and draining and it's just going to become a burden. With the tutorials, I'm hoping to post at least one tutorial every single week because I want to be just helping you guys grow and learn about photography, filmmaking, how to run a creative business. And yeah, so one tutorial a week and then vlogs, I want to post one vlog experience based review type video as well just to connect with you guys to share my thoughts. And yeah, so one YouTube short, one tutorial, one vlog every single week for the course of 2023. To me, it sounds like a pretty solid plan. I'm very excited to see, will 2023 be the year that I finally break the 100,000 subscriber mark? And maybe you're thinking right now, why, why is it such a big deal, the 100,000 subscriber mark? I don't know, it's just a milestone for me that you know, for a long time, I've wanted to just break that number, 100,000 subscribers. It's, it's huge because the city that I'm living in right now has, I think, around 60,000 people. So 100,000 subscribers, that would be almost doubling the size of the city that I'm living in right now. And ultimately, every single number, every single subscriber represents a person. And the more people who are watching and a part of this channel, the more people I can help. And that's just really exciting every time I create content, knowing that more and more people are gonna learn and be encouraged by the videos that I'm making. There you go, those are just some of the mistakes that I made back in 2022, but I decided to learn from them and to grow, and I really think that my growth strategy for 2023 is gonna just be game-changing for this channel. I'd love to keep you guys accountable as well, so post below in the comments, what's your strategy for 2023? What are you planning on doing? Maybe write down what you hope to achieve or create, and let's keep each other accountable on this channel.